dear students today i'm going to teach you about prepositions so first of all we should focus on the definition of prepositions preposition is a word which is used before a noun a noun phrase or a pronoun connecting it to another word basically this it, uh, it is a connection word between nouns or pronouns if you wanted to connect nouns or a noun phrase or a pronoun there we have to use a preposition for example i'm saying i'm sitting on a chair i am sitting on a chair there i am is a pronoun day i is a pronoun then chair is a noun so in order to connect the pronoun and the noun i have to use the word on so on is a preposition there i am sitting on a chair sitting is a verb and a is an article so obviously on is the preposition used there are three major varieties of prepositions and they are place of prepositions time of prepositions and the direction of prepositions the first one we are focusing is the prepositions of place some preposition shows where something happens and they are called prepositions of place for example the apple is on the table where is the apple on the table so on is a preposition the cat is under the table where is the cat under the table so under is the prepositions of preposition of place then clothes are in the bucket there where are the clothes in the bucket so in is a preposition in that sentence prepositions of time some preposition shows when something happens and they are called prepositions of time for example school starts at 9 o'clock when did the school start at 9 o'clock so at is a preposition of time you must finish the work by friday so the time limit is up to friday so there by is a preposition of time then we have prepositions of direction some preposition shows where something is going and they are called prepositions of direction means it is showing the direction of of a of an event or or of a noun or a pronoun so they are called the prepositions of direction for example the boy chased after reach the the football rolled down the hill the man was walking his dog along the river bank in all the sentences we can see the direction of a nation then that word that is showing the direction that is treated as the prepositions then we we were traveling towards miami again it is showing the action and it is showing the direction direction towards miami so towards is a preposition of directions in addition to those prepositions we are having prepositions of agent or instrument these prepositions indicate that an action conducted on a noun is caused by another noun and they are called prepositions of agent see ramayana was written by valmiki ramayana is a noun and valmiki is a noun so the action is was written so the action is done by another noun and that noun has been connected by the word by so that by is the preposition of agent then if you are focusing on an instrument see she came to the school by car that is again a noun then i opened my closet with a key so how i opened my closet with a key their key is acting like an instrument okay so here with this the preposition of instrument in uh, uh, ramayana was written by valmiki it is a preposition of agent then she came to the school by car that is also a preposition of agent but i opened my closet with a key is a preposition of instrument
Here we have uh, prepositions of purpose and source. These include for and from respectively. And for expresses purpose, reason, cause and from expresses origination. See, for we are using to show the purpose or reason or a cause behind an action. And from we are using to show the origination of a thing. For example, I read for pleasure. I read for pleasure. Why I read for pleasure? So it is showing my reason, my purpose or why I am reading. So there I have to use a preposition for. Then see the origination. The earth receives light from the sun. From where the earth receives light? From the sun. So from is used in order to show the origination. Last step is prepositions of measure or position of. So preposition of can be used to quantify a noun, indicate that one noun or another noun show the material with which something is made. So, of is having two, not only two, but of is uh, specifically having two rules. That is, it is, it is used to show the measure or position of something. See, I need a pound of cheese. So, it is showing the quantity of cheese. Okay, in order to show the quantity, we have to use the preposition of. Then, in order to show the position, he is a man of wealth. It is showing his position. Wealth is his position. So, in order to show the position and in order to show the measure of something, we have to use the preposition of. Then, uh, we have to use of along with the material with which something is made. Like, for example, the pen is made of wood. So, wood is a material over here. So, in order to show the material, we have to use the preposition of. And the last thing you should know in preposition is object of preposition. That is nothing new about you. But if someone doesn't know, you should know about this. See, a noun that comes after the preposition is called object of preposition. It is very simple, same like in a proper sentence. If we are having, a, having an object, obviously it will be coming only after the preposition. The dog is on my bed. There. On is a preposition and immediately after preposition we can see the noun bet. The cow jumped over the moon. They jumped is a verb. Over is a preposition and moon is the noun. So this is all about prepositions. And um, there is nothing special rules about prepositions. But uh, you should be um, having the knowledge to use the correct preposition in the correct place. And it can be achieved only through practice, especially in prepositions. Uh, only the native speakers can uh, already excel in it. Those who are non-native speakers, we need proper practice. And in the preposition, I'll again say that only practice makes a man perfect. And if you wanted to score good marks in preposition, kindly practice as many papers as possible. Thank you.